Little meal peacock. Okay, guys, so one thing I'm going back and try just after seven now, starting a little bit later today because it's a little bit chilly outside. I think fish should be active too early. Yesterday we caught two fish, like one nice peacock, hoping to get some action today. So we'll see how it goes. Catch you by the water. So this is the entrance of the hotel. It's a hotel there. So currently not required to wear a mask in public in Florida. It's recommended in indoor spaces, outdoor you don't have to. Um, so it feels good to walk around, at least in the street without your mask on. Still, of course, I will definitely wear it in any indoor supermarket, anything. But you know, breathing in nice, crisp, cold air feels pretty good. So I'll catch you by the water. Just about right over there. See how it goes. Alright guys, back out this morning. I didn't get to the intro because I saw something move in the water there. Yesterday first cast yesterday afternoon first cast we got a large moat. So I'm coming back in the same spot. I'm gonna make that same cast again. Let's see what happens. It's amazing how clear this water is. But you still can't see the fish because of their color. Alright, it didn't happen this morning. It's not gonna happen every time. I saw something jump on this side just now. I'm not sure if the morning is just too cold for the fish. Okay, you guys know the drill. We're gonna walk that way. Casting as we go along, along the bank, mostly, and then we'll make some casts out there like this. If I hook anything, you'll see it. If not, then some more in exercise. Now, this is the thing the fish sit in pockets just like this, right along the bank. <clears throat> just wait for, for a small bait fish to pass by and ambush them. I've seen something swimming in that pocket there. I'm not sure if even this, the mornings are just too cool for them to be too active. Maybe an extra slow presentation. Guys, a monster peacock bass just chased my low. I talk about a monster, that thing looked like about three and a half to four pounds. Just made a cast out in the middle. The low reached up here. He just swooped away. Alright guys, I made a cast out in the middle and I hooked something, something jumped and just cast it randomly. Let's see what it is jumping all that. Oh, it's a small peacock. Oh wow, he's barely hooked as well. But still small, but still the biggest one I would have, I would catch. It's a male too. Alright. We're going for the flip. It looks like a decent hook set. Wow. Yeah, it looks like he crossed that bait, so we have a good hook set. So we're going for the flip. See the hump on the head. Yes, we got it. <gasps> yes, yes. Biggest peacock. I saw the put. He jumped outside there. Made a cast where the boy was, and boom. So let me take these hooks out before we do anything. Beautiful fish, but wow. Oh wow, I got one. Beautiful male peacock. It's about a pound and a half maybe. Wow, let me get some photos of this fish. So I got my peacock guys, I got my peacock bass. Check him out. Nice one and a half, maybe two pounder. Beautiful fish, we're gonna release them now. So we got the peacock bass guys, a nice male one. Throw in the law, very beautiful fish, check him out. All right, for the release guys, these fish are very strong, so 
ये उसकी कॉफी नहीं देती है कौन Hey guys, so the reason you didn't see that hook up on camera, I was walking this way, I heard something jump, like a, a splash, like a tap on jump, like a tap on bubble, like that over there. Cast it towards it, couple jokes, let it stop, and he picked it up. So then I put on the camera, so I missed the strike. But you know, I'll take the fish over the footage anytime. <sighs> Catch a decent peacock. That was the goal. Caught a nice large mouth, and that's a peacock. So now I know whatever is boiling out there. Is more than likely peacock bass so anytime i see it i have to make a couple casts i didn't know what it was all the time like that that's peacock bass so now we know i didn't know they did that oh something big just came up for this floor as i stopped it right by the rock i don't know if you guys saw that Whatever that was, it was big. I was gonna walk up so the law doesn't get stuck in the tree. Damn boy. So I fished up to here yesterday, now I'm gonna walk, I'm gonna reach to that bridge and come back. I've got more time this morning. So let's go. Yes, these people come here with the big rowing boats. But that's okay. So it's kind of crazy where you're fishing. as a big, I don't know if it's a hotel or supermarket. It's huge, huge car park here. So this is what you call definitely suburban fishing. And it's amazing the kind of diversity that lives in these canals. Here, this side looks a little nice and deeper. Yeah, fish on. I saw that fish come up with it, whatever it is. What the heck? Small though. Good team, guy. I can't flip anything bigger than big here. I actually saw that fish swim up. It's a peacock. We're going for Oh yeah, we're flipping him all the way up here. Oh yes, nice peacock, man. I actually saw him come out of behind a rock and take it. Right, guys peacock number two this morning nice one again this is a female no hump on the head and what just happened to my gopro i hope i got the cook up we actually saw that fish take it nice one again this was about nine maybe about 12 or 13 inches check the low let's get them off and release them my gopro is not really functioning right now so using the phone huge splash in the corner there that was a peacock that was huge if it's a duck there he goes Beauty. Something huge. When I say huge. While I was releasing that fish, smashed into the bank. Ate something. Oh, yes. Fish now smashed into the bank right there. This side definitely has more fish, boy. That last peacock actually saw him come up and take the dog. I 
bridge. We're going up to the bridge, guys. We're going up to the bridge. Keep on casting. Now, Florida is supposed to be famous for large mall bass, pickup bass, and gators. I'm not sure if there are any gators in these canals. Hey, something! Wow, I saw that fish ticket again. Whoa, into the bank. Peacock, small peacock. Small, small peacock. Really small one. Still another fish. This looks like a different kind. Yes, it's a different kind. Different shape, different coloration. Well, that's snapping photos of this fish. Something huge just jump right behind. Okay, you need to calm down. The good thing about this law, always that always is troubles. The hooks are really small, so they come out really easy. Big fish just jump right there. Miss this guy. So over here, the water is a lot deeper than the other side of the fence. So actually, when I am bringing any law, you actually see fish coming out from under the rocks and taking the law. I actually saw that fish again. Like I said, the water is clear. So we reached the bridge yet? Are we catching fish? Let's go up a little more. But this law is definitely with you. It's a Rapala. Rapala BX Minnow. So if you're coming to try something in Florida, get this. And we tried soft plastic at first yesterday, but not a bite. I think the, I think the color was wrong in the soft plastic as well. The water is too clear to use that. But here's some just huge rocks on the side of this canal. Almost to the bridge. Lots of minnows all over. Fish behind it. Nice peacock. Nice peacock. Oh, probably the biggest one so far. Can take it. Pull it up. Even bigger peacock. There is a nice peacock right there, guys. If he takes it, we have a nice little spot to land in here. Come on, fish. Oh, yes. Definitely biggest one I'll catch if I hook him. Look like a two pounder. Come on, fish. Take me down low. Nice meal. A home bed. He's behind it again. He was watching it, watching it, watching it. Here we are. It was a soft plastic. I could have sink it and check it. And my last trying to get out on something big jump. And decided, oh, a nice big peacock in front of me right now, guys. Holy shit. 
bellissima saw here but nice one right, if he's still there he could take this yeah oh he take it and didn't get hook what the hell how could you not get hooked with two troubles Definitely had the law in his mouth. Oh, there he is. Got him this time. He lives right there. Nice one. Oh, came off. That was probably the biggest one so far. Fish just like right along the bank. Wow, that's a big one. That is a big fish, guys. That was a big peacock. Right there. Big peacock on them, all along, all along, hook up on a piece of string. Oh my goodness, he still tries to keep it pretty thin. Next peacock on the molo right now, right? Small one. This one here was a big one. Had a piece of grass on the low, you still try to eat it. That's some poop, yo. Probably all he misses, they would have taken back. That's so clear, the fish could see when they come up close to the law, like the scene is it's not real. So they kind of shine away, short it in it. The bigger ones, at least, they're a little smarter. Bridge looks like prime, prime peacock territory or prime snook territory actually. Hopefully no crocodiles. Real big fish. Oh, we have a net there. Okay, no problem. Oh, my apologies. I didn't know. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, just as I wish you prime, prime location to fish. Scared you gotta come and say there's no fish in here. And I was waiting to fish that bridge all the time, but wow, that is heartbreaking. The water on the bridge looks so good. Oh, damn it. What? What do you do? Caught some fish. Ah, not sure if I'll try back tomorrow. That bridge was real looking good. Wow. But we'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll go on the next side of the bridge and try it. 
all right guys so overall a pretty good morning caught i think maybe three peacocks if i can remember got a couple more bites two came off couldn't flip them and i got chased by two big guys they didn't take the low but it was some big ones maybe three four touching five pounds i'm not sure but they were big um successful definitely the change in law work this morning but when i reached the bridge where i really want to fish the security guard said there's no fish in there that was a kind of heartbreak I feel they had some monsters not sure what i'll do tomorrow but if you enjoyed watching a trini fish in the suburban canals of florida so far i've enjoyed it i haven't done shore fishing at home for a long time this was pretty fun and on artificials as always a lot of fish on artificials um travel telescopic rod i bought my reel from home pretty good action hope you guys enjoyed it let's see if we can do it again but thanks as always for watching guys remember to keep fishing fish home A big peacock. Oh, he hit it. Oh, small one. Small one hit it. There was a bigger one. You know, I'm just going to just flip for this fish because he's so small. And there was a bigger peacock right there. So we got one. There was a big peacock right behind this one. And this one just came up from nowhere and hit it. At least we know this law is working. guy is small guy there was a bigger one right behind him at least we caught one in last morning Turn back. all right guys camera was off hooked up there's a turtle swimming in front here this looks like a, this looks like a decent sized one guys hope he has a good hook set oh man he's swimming up you're good I'm gonna try how to try to flip. Oh yeah, this is the biggest one. Wow. No place to land this fish. Compared meal. Oh, came off. Watch. That was a nice one, boy. That looked like the biggest one. Not gonna lie to you guys, I just saw maybe a 36, 40 inch snook right on the side of you. The bank right there. A huge freaking snook he could eat all the peacock bass i caught if you see the size of that snook monster that was insane i see the snook at least 40 maybe 40 inches it was huge from a little off way but he just ignored it that was crazy <laughs>